As the handsomest PDCGL streamer predicted yesterday, the two new free decks with the Twilight Masquerade Battle Pass will be Dragapult EX and Teal Mask Ogre Pawn EX. Ogre Pawn EX will be on the basic Battle Pass free to every Pokemon TCG Live player, while Dragapult EX will be on the premium Battle Pass because the Pokemon Company wants maximum chaos. So make sure you have 600 crystals in your account ahead of Wednesday, May 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern so you can get it right away. Yes, it looks like they've changed the release timing for Twilight Masquerade to Wednesday instead of Thursday, but this could potentially be a one-time thing, as the next set is scheduled for Thursday, August 1st and live. Let's take a look at the free deck list, starting with Ogre Pond. The base version is interesting, to say the least, and by interesting I mean bad. Obviously they wanted to feature as many Ogre Pond EX as possible, and the results are kind of a mess. The base of it is an Ogre Pond Sinistra deck, which I featured in my Rogue Decks video. But you need four of the Grass Ogre Pond to make that work, which this deck doesn't have. Still, it looks like the strategy is to use your two Grass Ogre Pond to accelerate Grass Energy into play, then deal 210 damage with Sinistra, discarding all three Grass Energy you have in play. Or if you want to focus on the different Ogre Pond, you can accelerate the Grass Energy onto the Teal Mast one, then use Ogre's Mask to swap into a different Ogre Pond in your discard pile, potentially hitting for weakness. The Fighting Ogre Pond looks to be the best one, as it's immune to damage from attacks by Pokemon that have an ability. The other two are a bit awkward, like me when I went to my first Condo Line foot massage party. Elsewhere, the guts of the deck are your typical staple supporter and item cards, with one Carmine and two Bug Catching set from Twilight Masquerade thrown in. Carmine's a supporter you can use on turn 1, or any other turn of the game, to discard and draw 5, while Bug Catching Set is just a good consistency card for grass decks. If you get the Battle Pass up to tier 16, you gain 1 level on average per day, you'll receive all of these additional cards for free. The obvious standout is Legacy Energy, a really interesting new A-spec in Twilight Masquerade. When it's attached to a Pokemon, Legacy Energy provides every type of energy but only one energy at a time. The added bonus is that if the Pokemon Legacy Energy is attached to gets knocked out, your opponent takes one less prize card. Getting Legacy Energy for free is great, though you will mostly see it in Ludia V-Star decks, not Ogre Pond. Everything else given away for free on the basic Battle Pass is mostly just hyper-rare versions of the Ogre Ponds, as well as some hyper-rare versions of older cards. When you optimize the list with some of these free cards, it looks like a super janky Ogre Pond toolbox deck that's far too complicated to do well. So stay tuned for my upgrade video where I'll walk you through how to properly upgrade Teal Mast Ogre Pawn EX to be competitive, which may or may not feature a card currently free on PDCGL. For now though, let's look at the free Dragapult EX deck at tier 0 of the premium battle pass. Since I know people will ask, yes, it is always worth spending 600 crystals for the premium pass even if it's just for the free deck. The premium pass is always the first thing you should be spending your crystals on in live. Anyways, the deck. It pairs Dragapult EX with Zatu, which is arguably the best partner. Honestly, the list is solid, with pretty much everything you need to make Dragapult Zatu work, though there are some easily replaceable cards like Mewtwo and Erika's Invitation. The Mela inclusion is nice, as it allows you to accelerate a fire energy from your discard pile to Dragapult, provided one of your Pokemon was just knocked out. As for the strategy, it's simple. Use your Cloak and Zatu to draw cards, then use Dragapult EX to deal 200 damage and spread 6 damage counters to their bench Pokemon however you want. Dragapult has been the best deck in Japan since it came out, so expect the PDCGO ladder to be absolutely filled with this thing, as it's insanely powerful. By getting the premium pass to tier 14, you'll also receive all of these cards for free. It's basically just a third copy of Dragapult EX, except it's hyper rare, so that means you'll get to run mismatched arts. There's also a copy of Prime Catcher, which you probably already own from the current Battle Pass. This is the perfect time to remind everyone that you don't receive credits from extra cards on the basic Battle Pass free deck, but you do with the extra cards on the premium Battle Pass free deck. Yes, it's, it's confusing, I know. By reaching tier 50 of the Battle Pass, you'll receive another copy of this Ogre Pawn EX from the basic Battle Pass with another copy of this Dragapult EX on the premium pass. And if you thought the free decks ended there, guess again. When the June 2024 ranked ladder begins in the first week of June, we'll be getting an all-foil Palafin EX deck as well. They only gave us a teaser with no real information, so stay tuned for more details. Taking a look at the launch details for Twilight Master Raid, we'll be getting our typical 8 hours of maintenance on Tuesday, May 21st, beginning at 8am Pacific, 11am Eastern. 
The patch is massively disappointing if you want new features, as it doesn't have any. But we are getting new special condition visual effects, which they change seemingly every month, as well as aspect visual effects when using them. In terms of bug fixes, the number one most reported issue with Live right now is Great Test only milling one card when you have zero cards in deck. Unfortunately, that's not listed in the patch notes. The zero cards in deck glitch has been going on forever in Live, and Great Test just kind of got caught in the crossfire, meaning it will continue to be broken two months after release. Then, Twilight Masquerade will launch a day earlier than expected at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, May 22nd. That's also when you'll be able to redeem pack codes. In other Pokemon TCG news, Shrouded Fable was announced as our special August set, releasing on August 1st in Live. It'll feature more than 95 cards, including 3 Ace Specs and 6 Pokemon EX, which are Petra Runt, Monkey Dory, Okie Doji, Fezzendipity, Kingdra, and a Lightning Revivroom. Kingdra and Revivroom are yet to be revealed. Based on the wording of the press release, it doesn't appear as though Shrouded Fable will get a battle pass, which makes sense given that we'll be getting a new main set in September. And for those of you at home keeping track, Shrouded Fable will be legal for Worlds, which runs from August 16th to 18th in Hawaii. What do you think of the free decks with Twilight Master Raid? Let everyone know in the comments.